Hello my friend, today I'd like to talk about art and how it improves our emotional well-being. Usually it's uh, discounted as a worthless activity, there is not that much emphasis on the arts in public schools but the thing is there is a clear connection between art and emotion because when we go out to an art museum to marvel at the technical skills of artists research actually reveals a deeper magic at play and many studies have shown that engaging with visual art can trigger a cascade of positive effects on our emotional and mental well-being first of all by doing art or looking at art we reduce our stress and uh, anxiety levels. Basically, art promotes a relaxation and it can be a very useful technique to lower your anxiety level without taking the prescription. The second advantage of doing arts is enhanced mood and happiness. In studies, art increased feelings of pleasure and excitement in participants. And thirdly, art improves empathy and social connection that we experience. By viewing art together, we create greater empathy, pro-social behavior among people and each other. That makes me think, how can we uh, raise awareness that art is important? And I think the secret weapon is art education because the impact of visual art isn't just for us artists. It is an effective tool for nurturing well-being from a young age. And I think that art education is often ignored in public schools. Uh, giving more value to sciences or sports, but we have many parts to us, numerous parts to us that we grow emotionally by incorporating many subjects and social cues into our daily life. So art isn't about uh, making pretty pictures, rather it's about building self-esteem and confidence uh, when we are children um, because children express themselves through art they discover their uh, unique creative voices boosting their self-confidence and sense of accomplishment art also enhances cognitive skills a study show that art education improves critical thinking problem solving and spatial reasoning skills giving children a well-rounded <laughs> workout of mind and heart also art uh, is fostering emotional intelligence and i think that this is very important it's overlooked because through art children can learn to identify and express their emotions uh, developing a healthier vocabulary for their inner world I think this is the most overlooked yet most powerful application of art in our daily life. I believe that every person has the artistic side inside him or her. It may be dormant or not fully explored. As we nurture this part of our personality, we can discover new ways of looking at the world and people around us. We can become more creative in our jobs. We feel emotional connection to people. We engage with others with empathy. We see beauty in ordinary places. This is the hallmark of classical art. You see beauty in ordinary things and you create beauty so we become more connected to the source of our divine nature through beauty by looking at art so if you are in the mood to discover and process your emotions uh, with visual art i can give you some tips to get you started first of all visit an art museum or an art gallery when you travel to another state or city place the largest art museum and a few art galleries on your list not everything is going to look 
as art to you or become your favorite, but you learn to explore art beyond your comfort zone. You also understand what you really like or dislike. Sometimes I go out and get disappointed and in the shown objects promoted as art. But there are moments when I find paintings or sculpture um, that inspire me to create art or to try new art materials or just look at the subjects differently. I often study paintings by looking at unusual composition, color use, or texture created in paint. Such visits uh, cultivate my taste and appreciation of art. You know, I'd like to mention digital arts and technology. I find this new realm of technology very exciting. I'm not talking about the NFT scams or Bitcoin get rich schemes. I think that the interactive digital art installations are becoming more creative and exciting in comparison to contemporary painting. Some interactive installations can help you explore yourself and grow your understanding of reality by going to these rooms. I like how some artists combine nature and technology to create moving exhibitions. My favorite artists in this field are Studio Drift, Studio Olafur, uh, Kusama's Infinity Rooms and so on. You can also explore new interactive spaces like uh, the Other World, which is an uh, immersive art installation in Columbus in Philadelphia. It's a surreal mix of art technology and interactive experience. Let your inner artist shine. Grab a brush or a pencil and make a drawing of something in front of you. Sketch a tree outdoors or a flower on your table. Write a note next to your sketch about your feelings as you've been drawing it. It's about finding joy in the process of creation. Turn your home into a gallery. Surround yourself with art that speaks to your soul. Photographs, paintings, small sculptures or even handmade coffee cups can create a nurturing environment that reflects your inner world. Sometimes I visit homes that have 100% white walls. These houses look empty of color and emotion, lacking personality such houses are generic and just boring. Every human being is unique and by exploring your emotions in art you create beautiful and healing space for yourself and others around you. Engage with art in everyday life. Notice the beauty in the architecture you pass, the patterns in nature, the colors of a sunset, the texture in your friend's bag. Collect those moments in a sketchbook or pictures because the world is your scrapbook of memories and emotion. Art therapy is a profession and service that grew out of art making. It's about using visual arts as a tool for self-expression, emotional exploration and healing. From trauma recovery to managing chronic illness, art therapy offers a powerful outlet for processing difficult emotions. If you think that drawing is not your thing, try making collage pieces out of magazines and postcards exploring your emotions. I find that I often make art and collages without any particular thoughts, but the meaning reveals itself when the art is done. Just like writing or a combination of the two, such process can help you understand and process your painful past to move into the light. Community art project. It's often difficult to make yourself do something outside the house if you are introverted or feel tired after a work week. However, by going out and participating in collaborative art projects, you can gain a sense of belonging, connection and collective creativity uh, that improves your mood and well-being. Imagine painting a mural for your community or taking an art class to learn the basics of pottery or sculpture. This activity can make you feel needed and appreciated by other members of the circle. So in conclusion, art is a very valuable tool helping people express their emotions in a safe environment. 
Children benefit from doing art greatly by learning to explore their feelings and their relationship to the world around them. Art nurtures creativity, intrapersonal skills, and grows emotional intelligence that becomes useful in a wide range of daily tasks and future jobs. Art reduces stress and anxiety. And remember that the emotional impact of art is unique to you. So the more you explore, experiment, and record, the more your soul expands with empathy, love, and curiosity. Art provides emotional connection to ourselves and the world, while other activities may not have the same reach. Create healing space in your mind, home, relationships by developing your skills in painting, drawing, sketching, photography, pottery, dance, or whatever else activity you have in mind. The world awaits your light. And thanks so much for listening and subscribing. Please visit veronikasart.com for new art and subscribe to my special email list there. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.